Plug in Fridays, episode three. For those who watched the first two episodes, welcome back. For those when you here, welcome to Plug in Fridays. This is where I take some time to talk about a QJS plugin that I like, in hopes that you will find it useful as well. If you want to watch the first two episodes where I talked about the Quick OSM plugin and the SRTM Downloader plugin, you can check the playlist above. Now, if you're getting bored of the default resources that QGIS has, like its symbols, layer styles, images, expressions, processing stuff, you know, all your maps are looking the same, and you want to spice things up, or maybe you have your own symbols and styles that you want to share with the community, then this week's plugin is for you. This week, we're featuring the QGIS resource sharing plugin. Oh, it's a plugin that allows you to easily share QGIS resources with, with everyone, really, with fellow QGIS users. Resources here can mean you know, symbols, layer styles, SVGs, expressions, processing scripts, processing models, and other things like that. And if you want to learn more about the QGIS resource sharing plugin, you can check out the video description for resources about you know, the plugin. If you go to the site of the plugin, you can actually find there a lot of information about it not just the resources that are currently available or about how to install the plugin, but especially also how to share your own collections or your own resources with the community. So if you go to qgis-contribution.github.io slash qgis-resource sharing, then you should be able to see this uh, web page with all that uh, information that I just mentioned. With that, let's see how the plugin works. So let me just open my QGIS. And we can install and test out the resource sharing plugin. So here I have QGIS open. Let me just create a new project. And similar to the pre previous plugins that we discussed, the resource sharing plugin is also part of the official QJS plugin repository, which means that the easiest way to actually install it is to just go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and look for our resource sharing plugin. So we can go to the alt tab and look for resource sharing. And as you can see, I already have it installed on my machine. If you don't have it installed yet, then it should have install plugin you know, right here. So let's do that. I'll, I'll, I'll uninstall it. And then this is what it should look like if you don't have it installed yet on your computer. So just click install plugin and it should install the, you know, the plugin for you. So I have it installed uh, now. And I should be able to find it under plugins, resource sharing, resource sharing. Okay, so let's open the plugin and see what it looks like. Again, we can go to plugins, resource sharing, resource sharing, or we can click on this icon on one of the toolbars, which is the resource sharing icon. So if I click on that, it should open this QJS user sharing window or dialog that has three tabs. The list of collections that are available to download and install from the resource sharing plugin, the installed collections that I have on my machine, and of course, the settings. Now let's go over this one by one. The settings tab has the list of repositories holding the collections that you can download and install using the plugin. 
these are the default that come with with a plugin when you install them but you can actually edit these and even add your own repositories if you know where where to look or the information about them these repositories are basically just github gitlab repositories that have a certain structure that allow the plugin to read them and if you want to learn more about that how you can share your own collections your own resources how to create your own repository then i suggest going to the video description and you know clicking that link to the web page of the qjs resource sharing plugin because they have a lot of resources there a lot of you know, tutorials on how to actually set up your repository and how to share your collection with with other users so that it becomes available through the QJS resource sharing plugin for us let's just work with these default repositories and see you know the collections that we can actually get from from them so again as i mentioned installed collections would have the collections that i've installed on in my machine I actually have one already and all collections just lists down all the collections available from the repositories that we have on on our settings so let's look at the collections that we actually have and there's a lot of them you want animal silhouettes you can have them you want animal tracks and signs there's a collection for that as well uh different classifications font awesome icons svg symbols scripts from r for r and also a lot of svg files for uh, standard symbols and default symbols so these are the collections that we have and if we want to install them really what's it's fairly simple. You just click on the collection you want to install and then click install right here on the bottom right corner of the plugin window. So for example, Animal Tracks and Signs, I can click install and it will download the collection for me and install it on my machine so that I can use it. So it says it downloaded 29 SVG files and one symbol or XML file. I can do it for 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 a lot of for, for mostly all of this for all of this actually and then I can maybe I can just get one more for for transportation or recreation maybe install and it will install the the resource for me Okay, so now that we have the resource, so what? what what's, what's the benefit of actually getting those resources? Where? Well, if, if you have them installed in your machine via the resource sharing plugin, then they should now be available for you to use when you're doing your stylings or when you're creating your maps, your editing symbology and, and things like that. Okay, so let's, let's see that in action. Here I have two layers and once again, NCR admin boundary and uh, Jollibee places, locations of Jollibee and NCR. And I'm going to use the resources that I recently downloaded to style uh, Jollibee. And what I can do is I can go to, instead of a simple marker, I can take an SVG marker and then under SVG groups, there's user symbols. And this is where the resource sharing plugin actually installs the SVG files that you have. So here you see I have animal silhouette, animal tracks, and these are the, you know, the resources that I downloaded earlier. So I can look for animal tracks here. I can even look for an animal silhouettes unfortunately i don't i don't think there's a b here so let's just go with 
I don't know, a, 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 a bird. And of course, I can, I can edit that since it's, it's, it works basically as a marker. I can edit the color and other things. Then I can also do categorize. I can use it for a categorical data. Uh, categorical data. I can basically use the resources that I downloaded from the QGIS resource sharing plugin to work with uh, other layers or maybe to, to work with other stuff in QGIS. So that's just a very simple example of, of using the resources that you download from the QGIS resource sharing plugin. Again, there are a lot of resources available here, not just styles, not just SVGs, but also um, you know, icon sets, processing scripts, and you can easily download this again. Or if you want to have your own and share it with others, I suggest going to the link and you know, creating your own repository. Before we end, I just want to mention that if you're more interested in just you know QGIS styles, then there's also a repository for that, which you can find at plugins.qgis.org slash styles. The styles are again shared by the community. You can download this as your XML files and you can add this to your QGIS style manager. And that might be another you know, video in the future. And that's the QGIS resource sharing plugin. A simple but very useful plugin, especially if you want to share resources with one another. And that's it for this week's Plugin Fridays. Do like, share, and subscribe if you found this entertaining or educational. And leave a comment down below if you want to have a plugin featured in the future. I hope to see you guys again next week. Until then, take care and cheers. <laughs>